Hi ladies, I thought this would be easier than trying to type it out. I've had lots of questions about organizing our class materials and about what's what and where to find what. So I thought I would go through real quick and show you. So you should have your history course book. Ooh, oh, you should have the big book of history stories. You should have a folder or a binder that you put your student explorer in. And then you should also have the supplemental materials. I want to encourage you to um, keep the student explorer in a binder or in a folder altogether. Some of this I will ask for you to bring back and some of this I will leave for you to do at home. So I want you to have them where you can find them because some of them will be for points. Um, the supplemental materials were just optional. So basically you could use them as much or as little as you want to. I'm going to draw upon them for extra content in class. Um, and there may be some where I will randomly assign a page or two, but I would always send that home with you. So if you don't want the supplemental materials, um, you can file them away but you won't need them for class. As far as what to bring to class, all your student needs to bring is their folder if they have materials to return to me, which most weeks they will, and um, some form of a notebook for taking notes, for writing down important information, that kind of stuff. I don't need them to bring their textbook. I don't need them to bring the history stories. Um, they don't need to even bring their student explorers because if it's something we need in class, I will provide it. So basically, a pencil, a folder, and paper is all that I need for class. I hope that this helps, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing your kids on Wednesday.